Right now at 10 o'clock in the search for Samuel Olson. Tonight, a KPRC2 source confirming what was first reported by a radio station in Jasper, Texas, that a child's body has been found in a motel room in that East Texas town. Jasper police believe the body is that of the six-year-old boy who's been missing from the Houston area. And tonight, one person has been detained at the scene. But tonight, police are not saying who that person may be. And as we speak, multiple law enforcement agencies from the Texas Rangers to Houston police are now headed to that motel to actually assist in that investigation. Now, here's what you should know. Jasper is more than 100 miles northeast of Houston and until tonight, there's been no known connection between that town and this investigation. We do have live team coverage for you, beginning with KPRC 2's Keith Garvin. Keith? Dominique, Chris, Samuel's mother, Sarah Olson, is very distraught tonight. We're told she is not able to speak without breaking down. So her attorneys representing her in a child custody case, they spoke on her behalf. And those attorneys learned of this possibility at the end of the press conference they were holding. And this, of course, not the news they were hoping for. Now, it is KJAS out of Jasper and also a KPRC2 source uh, that have confirmed to us that a body found in a motel in the East Texas town of Jasper, they believe is possibly that of six-year-old Samuel Olson. The KJAS reports says officers were apparently called to the Best Western Inn at the 200 block of West Gibson Street shortly before six o'clock this evening when it was reported that the body had been found. Our source also tells us that a woman has been detained after this discovery. Jasper's police chief did not release many other details, but he did say the body of the child was found in a tote bag. He also said there were indications that the body had been there for quite some time. The attorneys for Sarah Olson, Samuel's mother, learned of this possibility at the end of this evening's news conference. Attorney Marco Gonzalez himself was visibly upset and said he did not know how he would break the news to Sarah Olson. I just learned this literally 10 seconds ago and uh, I mean uh, we just want to call our client, you know, Sarah and uh, I don't know, I'm at a loss for words. If I'm at a loss for words now with you, then I don't know what to say to her. Sarah Olson's attorney told us that although she has primary custody of Samuel, she has not had physical contact with him since January of 2020. That is when they say his father did not return him after a visitation uh, handoff. They say court delays largely caused by the pandemic slowed down reunification proceedings. And we now know that this evening she was dealing with this very, very terrible news out of Jasper. Reporting live from near Southeast Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News.